Welcome to the St. Michael Easter podcast series. My name is Ken Brannan, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is Come, Follow Me. Jesus calls us to follow, and together we turn that call into acts of love. May your Easter season be filled with the love of Christ. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. A reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 through 28. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the Spirit, do not despise the word of prophets, but test everything, hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Beloved, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. I solemnly command you by the Lord that this letter be read to all of them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Here ends the reading. As I read the passage for today, an old song came into my head. Give me that old-time religion. Give me that old-time religion. Give me that old-time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. Lord, it's good enough for me. Makes me love everybody. Makes me love everybody makes me love everybody and it's good enough for me. I love songs like this because they capture the joy and simplicity of following Jesus. Sometimes we make faith too complicated. We're afraid we can't share the good news because we don't know enough theology. We're hesitant to help someone in need because we might be accused of toxic charity. We don't want to hold someone's hand while we pray with them because we're afraid of being misunderstood. So we keep our faith to ourselves, and in the process, we quench the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to share the good news. The Holy Spirit wants to help those in need. The Holy Spirit wants to accomplish healing. But if we're too afraid of doing it wrong, we're not letting the Holy Spirit accomplish the work of sanctification. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians is eminently practical. Especially as he concludes his letter, he keeps things simple. Love one another. Be at peace. Help the weak. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from evil. These are the trustworthy teachings of the best of old-time religion. We don't have to have all the answers. We don't need a theological degree. We don't have to sign a release form to extend human kindness. We simply act in faith and trust that the Holy Spirit will bridge the gaps within us and between us. Paul says as much at the end of his letter, May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Who will accomplish the work of salvation? God will. So next time you're out for a walk and feeling grateful for God in your church, go ahead and sing. It will take us all to heaven. It will take us all to heaven. It will take us all to heaven, Lord. It's good enough for me. Amen. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.